we got we got a we got a hard-headed dog here. We've talked about corrections before. People have asked me, go ahead, we'll come a little bit closer. People have asked me about what are some tools. I've got a dog that's jumping up, it's nipping at me, it's all that other stuff. A prong collar is good, but as Stan has said in various videos, once the dog knows the collar's off, it knows it can do anything. See, this collar's gonna always be on ego. So you give it a like, like, little pull, little snap. When he's not acting right, we have a guy back here, uh, you know, doing the poop scoop thing. So we've got a good distraction there. And we, you see that I have him here up. Come on. Down. Down. That right there is what you do. Down. He don't like getting pulled on. Down. Now, he goes a hard-headed dog. Very capable, super confident. He doesn't listen as well as people presume, which is why I said we're gonna tighten him all the, uh, tighten him up. He's got a lazy down, <laughs> but he's also overweight right now too. Imagine trying to sit down. And you had a, a you know one of them super duper guts. You'd be like, whoo, have to stretch back. Didn't that, didn't that, that, that recline? See that decline? That recliner wasn't created for the for the little man. He was created for that butter. It was created for that brother here like this. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all y'all all right? Go ahead and pass me a little bit more of that there. <laughs> so, patience is the name of the game. You have to remember he's still an animal. He's an American bully with the heavy influence on the terrier because I like a driven dog. That being said, because I built his confidence up so much, he's never gonna get discouraged. Like, he's not gonna whimper. Some dogs, if you correct them too early, too harsh, too soon, you'd have to undo a whole nother thing and rebuild, which could take twice as long because now they're afraid of you. No matter what I do, he's not afraid of me. He also hasn't been given word, and this is the thing, this is how you know he's hard-headed. He knows what I'm asking of him because even when I do down, he don't necessarily bite it. He know he ain't supposed to do it until I say so. So that line is clear, <laughs> but he don't want to listen. We don't want, and mind you, he knows down. He knows it, but he's like this. I don't want to do it, so what do we do? I sit down in this chair here, and we do it down. Look, see what you're doing? You seen him just do it a second ago. Down. See, look. He know what to do, which is why that comes in handy. Now, mind you, do not do it unless he's not responding. Down. And again, once you say stay, you teach him stay, then they know exactly how long to hold. And eventually, they'll no longer need you to say stay because when you say down, you mean down until you say up. Up. And then if I say work, now, mind you, he doesn't want to hurt me. That's why he doesn't bite this thing as hard as he probably can. It's a little thing that I like to teach him with. Hand-to-hand <sighs> -hand combat is what I call this. Out. Sit. So you see, he, he, he's, we, we're clear, but because I've let him get away with quite a few things. He's going on two years old, and we've got a lot more work to do. But I've let him get away with a lot of stuff, but he knows better than to grab it unless I say so either. So we're gonna tighten up eco, but here's a couple things you wanna be mindful of when working with your American bully, especially if he's got more of a terrier influence. One, a dog is a dog. Your parents used to pop you, I'm not popping him, I'm giving him a little pop on his, a little tap on the shoulder per se. He needs correction, AKA he needs direction. So I'm taking my time pacing, I, pacing him, don't be licking it brother, pacing uh, his growth because I know what I haven't done enough of. So what do you do every day? Say, how long should I train my dog for? Every day, like you're going to work, for five to 15 minutes, depending on your dog's ability to stay focused. This dog's drive and focus is bar none, in my experience, for, for, for what we're doing here. I'm not, he's not a Malinois, he's not a shepherd, he's not a, a herding dog, so he don't got that kind of focus. But for an American bully um, to have this kind of focus here, be distracted by everything else even off the if I took him off the leash nothing would change I put the leash on actually so that I could correct him so we could work on this because I need him to be better which means I got to be better so when I say again down see so he didn't go I'm not gonna correct him on that but then you got to remember because you're practicing good habits if he doesn't listen pop so you got to give him that correction down see that lazy down now the second time and the reason why you got to correct him the first time because he's like all right I'll do it on the second time he's already getting away with murder and it's all my fault which is why you got to make sure you know your process step one get a leash get a collar 
make sure the dog and you have a clear line of communication, build the dog's confidence up. I've done that since he was a baby and I'm doing that with the others as well. Then when you say something and you want to enhance their abilities because you have a driver, biting on things is his driver, a ball is Tron's driver. Tron doesn't have the confidence, so you see his eyes change. He gets discouraged. He goes still beady eye. You pull on his neck, he like this. Man, I'm going to do it in a second. I'll get to it. I don't feel like doing it right now, which is why you got to be hard on him, per se. And again, he's no, no harm's coming to him, but I need him to focus. I need him to listen better, which means I got to do a better job of communicating and practicing good habits. Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Up. Oh. Work. See that? Normally, if I got something different, he'll bite it even harder. He's not biting it harder because he knows my hand's right here. Now, if I got that bite pillow or something else, you'll see a different dog come out. He's super motivated in that way. Out. Guys, it's a process. Ain't that right, old man? He's just a young baby. Stay tuned, people. Thank you for watching.